With this little video, I will try to explain how I go about embroidering on t-shirt fabric, on jersey stretchable fabric that is not that heavy. Um, I recommend two things that you consider that your t-shirt isn't a very cheap model in a very, very thin quality because then the stitches will probably be too much for your uh, t-shirt. Then you can, um, maybe you could make a patch and uh, sew it onto the t-shirt if, if that's what you want to do. This t-shirt is, um, is a jersey t-shirt. It's, um, it's not double woven uh, or knitted. It's a single knit jersey. I have pre-washed the t-shirt. I have found the center of the back, top back, because I want to put on an embroidery, uh, um, one of my um, applique uh, cycle embroideries later. But first I would uh, make my experiments on some uh, patches that I have cut out from another ma jersey material here. I will use three kinds of stabilizer to, to show the difference. and. Um, then I would also like to emphasize that the cutaway that I normally use when I embroider on woven fabrics is not, in my opinion, at least suited for t-shirt embroidery or stretchy fabric embroidery. So that's a no-go. The three kinds of stabilizer that I would like to show you is this new one called Thermofilm. It is uh, going in the hoop just as regular stabilizer and then after embroidering i should be able to uh, iron off the stabilizer this plastic stabilizer i'm very excited too because i haven't tried it out yet but it's it sounds very smart the second one is the one that i regularly use for for t-shirt and stretchy fabrics namely this cutaway fabric type stabilizer from gunnold this is the one that stays on the back of the embroidery also when washed. So it will it will be a bit more stiff than the rest of the t-shirt after you've made it. But that said, it is not so stiff that it is visible. I think it's a, it's a good and great material for embroideries on t-shirt. Uh, so I will try that one too and show you what happens. And the final one is um, my fabric type um, water soluble stabilizer. I will make an experiment with that one too. And depending on how many stitches my embroidery has, I will use one or two layers in the hoop when I use this one. It will dissolve completely in wash. So there will also be no uh, stabilizer left on the t-shirt on the back side of, of the fabric with that one. On top of each of the embroideries to make sure that the foot will not uh, move the stretchy fabric uh, or make folds that I do not want, I will put this uh, water soluble foil uh, so that it will help stabilize the stretchy material underneath. I will show you the hoop uh, in photos for each of the um, experiments with these materials and then of course afterwards the results and at last i will make a similar embroidery with the best type on my purple pre-washed t-shirt stay tuned as you can see i have now hooked my thermofilm I have floated my jersey fabric, the sample that I have um, decided to make the experiment on and pinned it inside the hoop, which I would also do when I make uh, the t-shirt itself. And on top, I have put a layer of Solvi, the very thin uh, plastic foil that is water soluble to make sure that the foot will not move my jersey stretchy fabric around when I embroider. And now I'm ready for the applique design that I have made for this experiment. A fabric collage with also a, a pretty um, lightweight uh, sketchy fab, uh, design. 
pedal power it is. Stay tuned. As this embroidery has more applique parts and squares all they are or rectangles, I have decided to use a variegated thread because then I won't have to change um, between all the steps in the applique. And afterwards, when I embroider the the lines, the chassis style uh, lines over the, uh, the, the applique parts, then this will also be very nice to look at. As you can see here, I am ready to start and stay tuned. Now I have made the applique parts of this uh, design. I have made them with jersey fabric, as this is also jersey stretchable fabric. Um, when the embroidery is this small, it's under 13 uh, times 13 centimeter uh, or five by five uh, inches. I would also dare use woven fabric for these parts if you prefer that because they are so small, the parts, that it doesn't matter and it won't ruin the stretchability of the uh, t-shirt. Now, as this uh, whole setup is very uh, patterned, <laughs> a lot of patterns, I have decided that my bike and the text is going to be neon yellow. So let's continue. Well, my first experiment with the thermofilm as stabilizer station um, is finished and now I'm ready to unhoop and as you can see everything looks fine and on the back of the hoop it also looks fine and I am supposed to be able to iron off this thermofilm when I have unhooped the embroidery. Let's see how it goes. First of all I'm going to tear off as much of, of the material as possible. And I will also do that with the foil that I put on top of the jersey fabric. And then I'll get back to you. This is the back and only what's under the stitches is left of the thermofilm. And I'm actually just as excited as you are about this. Uh, to protect my iron board, I have put on a piece of baking paper, paper sorry. And now I'm going to to try it out. I think the iron is a bit too hot. I'm, I'm very excited and I think I'll have to um, to do it without camera. And I'll show you afterwards because I can't control the camera and the iron at the same time. Stay tuned. As you can see, the uh, material turns into little, yeah, little leftovers that I I'm supposedly able to brush off and you will see how it is when I've done that. On the back of my embroidery, most of this is actually gone. However, still on the other side is the leftovers of my foil that is water soluble and I will have to put this in water to get the leftovers of that one off as well. So when I'm done with all the experiments, I will put this one in water too, to make it disappear entirely. Now for the next experiment with the next kind of stabilization, um, the cutaway. I have now hooped for experiment number two with the woven uh, or non-woven it is it looks like woven um, cutaway stabilizer and floated my jersey fabric my stretchy fabric and on top i have the water soluble um, salty foil to protect from the foot moving around with the materials and ready to go 
with this one. Now I'm done with experiment number two with the cutaway stabilizer. And as the name says, says I'm going to cut it away and show you how that looks afterwards because I cannot hold the scissor and the material at the same time. So stay tuned. Experiment number three, the last and final, this time with a water soluble stabilizer under one layer here because this is um, an applicator sign and not many stitches. So I will go with one layer of this. I have hooped the stabilizer, floated the fabric and pinned it to the sides and also added the layer of solvi on top of it. So stay tuned. The third and final experiment with the water soluble stabilizer is now finished also and um, before I rinse off or dissolve this water soluble stabilizer in water, in warm water, I will cut it down so that it won't be so much that I have to dissolve. And then I will also rinse off the, the top layer of uh, solvi that I have on the other two experiments and let them dry and let you see the differences between the three materials. Stay tuned. If this was actually a t-shirt I would of course not dissolve the soluble uh, stabilizer, water soluble stabilizer in a bowl of water, I would simply put it in the washing machine and give it a rinse there. But this experiment is small pieces, so I will simply dip all three into the bowl and hang them to dry in the sun and wind. And I will get back to you when I have dried them and before ironing them. So you can see the final results. Till later. After the experiments, I'm ready to give a go. Give it a go on my T-shirt, as you can see here, the back of it, the top back of the T-shirt. It's not always easy to um, pin everything away from the hoop. This is an eight by eight hoop, and the embroidery that I'm going embroidery and application. That I'm going to use is this one, Pedal Power in a larger version, to fit my t-shirt here. I have um, I have chosen to go with the, the new thermofilm because actually I found it a bit fun that it can be ironed away. So now I will try it out on the real t-shirt while the other the samples are drying in the wind. Till later.